to the lawsuit against the tax law. <coughs> Four Democratic states suing Washington, claiming tax reform is unfairly targeting high tax states. But former New York Lieutenant Governor Betsy McCoy says this lawsuit is costing taxpayers. Betsy, uh, explain. It is. It's a PR stunt, Charles, and taxpayers are going to foot the b bill for this litigation boondoggle. The litigants really don't have a legal leg to stand on because already the United States Supreme Court has ruled not once but twice that Congress decides what's deductible and Congress can take away those deductions as well. In 1934, they ruled that. In 1988, they ruled that the federal government can even tax the interest income on state and local bonds. So it is clear that the United States Treasury, the defendant in this lawsuit, will win. Also, isn't uh, wasn't one of the arguments during the debate over the, the final tax bill uh, that by l allowing these states, and I happen to live in one of them, and you too, right, the, these, these uh, write-offs, that these other, other states were de facto supporting them, right? In other words, if, if, you, have, if you live in a state where you don't have these massive uh, for mortgage or write-offs and things like that, and another state you, does... You would be paying more of your ta income right. and taxes. Right. Exactly. The real issue here, Charles, is not whether these state taxes are deductible. They're too darn high. We're living in tax hell states. And fortunately, the new tax law, by reducing, capping the deductibility of state and local taxes, is putting the pressure on these blue state pals to finally get their own so? fiscal houses. Because in, oh, Jersey, yes. in Jersey, the new governor is adding taxes. I mean, he just added a small, a, a, a small business tax. He wants to make it a sanctuary state. He's got to fund that. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I think they've crossed the river. They're in La La Betsy. Land over there. But, but they, take a look at Connecticut, right. which was always a blue state for the last decade or more, and now they have a gubernatorial race, and it's a toss-up for the first time because Connecticut residents go, are so disgruntled. Let's go. Okay, we've got two minutes, uh, Betsy, and we're going to go to uh, and, and take a listen to uh, comments from the White House, and I want to get your thoughts on it because the central issue today, tariffs, taxes, and trade. Tax 2.0, there's going to be a lot of political pressure uh, and, 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 and sort of trade-offs, right? So if we want to make certain portions of the tax bill permanent, can these blue states and others come back and say, hey, give us a break, even if you cap the mortgages, maybe uh, give us more wiggle room, because for a lot of people, their taxes did actually go up. Their taxes went up, but we want to keep the pressure on those pals to start reducing spending in those states. That's ultimately the goal. And politically, this is very good for Republicans because they want to see those high spending pals replaced by uh, politicians who have more fiscal responsibility. Yeah, I mean, these, these states that are de facto just giant welfare petri dishes uh, <laughs> have run amok. No, they've run amok, and, and it's, they, they still have the highest income inequality numbers. They still have the most amount of homelessness. They still have the most discouraged, you know, people and living there. And by the way, they're going to have less and less influence in Congress because as the population flees each of these states, their congressional reputation uh, representation also diminishes. What would be the key? to you then tax uh, tax cut 2.0 uh, real quick before we go to Trump what would, what's the one I thing I want to see, see more incentives okay. to invest and hire in the United States